Okay, so let's see if you have the fraction skills to solve this problem. And uh, what we're looking at here is something called a complex fraction. And we want to simplify this complex fraction. All right, now what is a complex fraction? Well, in a fraction, you have a numerator and a denominator. So if you have a fraction in the numerator or a fraction in the denominator or in both, you have a complex fraction like we have right here. Okay, so let's take a look at the problem. We have as our numerator 4w over 3 plus 8 over 9, and our denominator is 16w over 9 minus 4. All right, so we are trying to simplify this complex fraction. And uh, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to uh, show you the precise steps you need to take to simplify this complex fraction. All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is 3w plus 2 over 4w minus 9. All right, now, if you got that right, well, you definitely get a happy face in the A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't like fractions, and I particularly don't like complex fractions. Well, I totally get that. But uh, if you want to do well in math, you have to be very comfortable working with fractions. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the full solution on how to solve this problem right now. All right, so we're dealing with fractions. And obviously, uh, where you have fractions within fractions, those are called complex fractions. So we, we're going to want to just take this problem one little step at a time. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is focus in on the numerator. So let's focus in on the numerator. Uh, you don't ever want to, you know, well, when you come really, really good at math, sometimes you could do like two, three steps in one, you know, uh, you could do two or three things um, on a particular problem, you know, and show that in like one step from here to here. And you did a couple different things, but typically you're just going to want to just take one step, write down your work and then take one step again, write down your work and just kind of whittle the problem down this way. So let's just focus in on the numerator. And when we do that, we're adding, we're trying to add fractions. Just because we have a variable here doesn't, um, you know, change the, uh, the fact that we're adding fractions. So when you add fractions, what do you have to have? Well, you have to have the same denominator, okay? And here we do not have the same denominator. We have 3 and 9, okay? So how do we get the same denominator, which, of course, is the lowest common denominator? In this particular situation, it's easy to fix this up. So what is the LCD? Well, you can see over here that it is 9. Okay, so how do I get uh, both of these denominators to have 9? Well, this is already a 9, so to get this to be a 9, just multiply that by 3, which means I have to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. So that's going to give me 12w over 9 plus 8 over 9. Okay, now here, again, I'll deal with this denominator separately. So this is your first step. Let's get these denominators the same. So now, when you have the same denominators, you could simply just add the numerator. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. So here I have 9 over 9, 12w plus 8. So now let's add the numerator. So I got 12w plus 8 over 9. Okay, so that's um, our first kind of major uh, goal or phase of this problem is to clean up that numerator. And now that is done. So now let's go ahead and focus in on the denominator. So we have 16w over 9 minus 4, but 4 over what? Anytime you see a number by itself and you're like, well, you know, you want to think of this as a fraction, you just put that over 1. Okay, so this would be, uh, be nice and easy to understand. So when I look at that, I'm like, okay, what's the situation? Well, I'm trying to subtract fractions. Just like adding fractions, I need to know the LCD. So this would be over 1. So what is the LCD? Well, this is 9. That's 1. The LCD is 9. Okay, so we're going to have to fix this up, and uh, this will be 4 over 1. So, again, we're focusing in over here now. We already addressed the numerator. So this is 9, uh, 16w over 9. So I need to have 9 uh, in this denominator. So I need to, to have 1. I need to multiply that by 9. So I need to multiply the numerator by 9. So that's going to give me 36 over 9. So this is what we need to write, Okay. All right, so we have 16w over 9 minus uh, 36 over 9. So same denominator. So now I need to just subtract the numerators. Okay, so let's show that now right here. 
So this is going to be 16 W minus 36 right there over nine. Okay, so we cleaned up both the, uh, the numerator expression and the denominator. So we're ready to kind of take this to the next level. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're gonna do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the situation. So here is the problem. We have this thing over this. But better, well, a better way to interpret this is this numerator right here. This fraction bar, okay, right there is the division symbol. So it's this divided by this. Okay, so let's write it that way. The numerator is being divided by the denominator. So instead of writing it this way, let's go ahead and write it this way. All right, so we have 12 uh, W plus 8 over 9 divided by 16. W minus 36 over 9, because when you're uh, dividing fractions, you know, you want to write it in this manner. Okay, so how do we divide fractions? Well, we change division uh, problems, uh, fractions into multiplication problems by flipping the, fr uh, the fraction to the right of the division symbol. Okay, again, you need to know basic fraction operations. If you're struggling with fractions, okay, or any of this basic, basic math, uh, you might want to check out like my math foundations course, course or my pre-algebra course. Uh, but at this level, uh, you would probably, this is probably like an algebra one or beyond type of, uh, you know, level problem. Okay, this is, eh, may be a little bit too much for uh, pre-algebra students, but, you know, you can probably handle it anyways. So let's go ahead and continue on. So division, remember, you return to multiplication by flipping this fraction over here, finding the reciprocal. So this goes to the numerator, and this now becomes a denominator, and you could say have that written out right there. Okay, so now we are multiplying fractions. How do we multiply fractions? Well, hopefully you remember, okay, we multiply the numerators and we multiply the respective denominators. So this is going to be 9 times this. So you can see I have it written right here, 9 times 12W plus 8. You want to put that in parentheses. That's really important. Anytime you have, um, you're adding or subtracting things with variables, Put those in grouping symbols. This is one of the most common little things that students forget to do that get them into a ton of problems. So this is going to be 9 times the sum of 12W plus 8. Put that in grouping symbols. We'll address this here in a second. And then 9 times this expression. Again, put that in grouping symbols. So we have 9 times this. All right, now a lot of you are probably saying, hey, can't we cross-cancel these 9s right here? Yes, you can, because these are factors. It's this times this and this times this. So let's go ahead and continue the problem. All right, so as I just said, we can definitely cross-cancel these 9s. So cross-cancel them right there so these 9s go away. That's why you don't want to multiply in just yet. You want to look for opportunities to start cross-canceling like factors uh, just to kind of make this problem easier. And uh, when we do that, we are down to 12W plus 8 over 16W minus 36. So, you know, if you got this as your answer, that's pretty good, but it, it's not, you're not done yet, okay? Because here, you want to look to factor out the greatest common factor, all right? Because we can, you know, just looking at these terms, I'm like 12W and 8, boy, this has a 4 in common, and these have a 4 in common. So let's get that 4 out of there. So 12W plus 8... I can factor out the greatest common factor. That's 4 times this, 3W plus 2. Again, if you don't know how to uh, factor um, like the greatest common factor, all these algebra skills that can help you out. I have uh, tons of videos on my YouTube channel that can help you with this, but you really want to learn this in a methodical way. That's why I would recommend, recommend one of my courses. So 16W minus 36, okay, I can factor out that GCF. That's 4 uh, over 4W minus 9. And you can see now we have a 4. And this 4 can take that out right there. Those 4s cross cancel. And finally, finally, I'm left with 3W plus 2 over 4W minus 9. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.